thank you everybody for watching this video. Today I'm going to think about what I wish the new stages would be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now I know we already have so many. Thank you Sakurai for putting so- what? 103 is insane. So thank you so much for that. So yeah, we have a lot. It's insane. So we can't expect too many new stages. And we already know like of what? Four new stages maybe? And those are all cool. But there are some I wish for that I think would be awesome in this game. So let's kick it off right away. And remember, these are just wishes. For most of these are just wishes. And I don't actually think that a lot of these are going to be in there. But I think it would be awesome if they were. This first one, however, though, I do think has a really good chance of being in there. So what this first one is, is I am predicting that we will probably get Decidueye or Incineroar in Smash Bros. Now, I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan, so I don't know that much about it, but we have Yanova Pokemon League and Kalos Pokemon League. Um, I'm pretty sure we should get an Alolan Pokemon League. That should probably fit. I don't know too much about Pokemon, but because of the new Pokemon in Smash, it should accompany with a new Pokemon stage. And because I'm getting rid of Poker Floats, which, you know, rest in peace Poker Floats, it would be cool to have it in here, definitely. The next one I think should have came a long time ago, well, it should have came during the Smash Brothers DLC, but I guess they just didn't have the time or didn't want to didn't want to waste time doing it, but the Bottomless Canyon from Fire Emblem Fates. We deserve another Fire Emblem Phage, considering that it's like the third most represented franchise in the whole game, and it only has three stages compared to like the Mario series 15 stages. And if there's any stage that's coming to the game from Fire Emblem, then it should be from Fates, because Corrin didn't come with a stage when he was DLC. He just came with music. And so there deserves to be one from Fire Emblem Fates. And I'm a huge Fates fan. Um, I'm only getting into the series, so I'm, I'm only getting into the Fire Emblem series, so there's probably better games out there, but I really enjoy Fates. And I was thinking about what could be a the what is like the most notable part of Fire Emblem Fates that can be represented as a stage and you could choose like the Hoshiden or Nor Castles but what I think it should be is definitely the Bottomless Canyon which if you haven't played the game is kind of like what the story revolves around like that is kind of like the center point and the third game Fire Emblem Fates Revelations like, the bottomless canyon is very important in that game specifically. So, I definitely think it deserves a thing. And, um, for what the stage would have in it, I assume there might be some stage hazards where, um, the members of the Noah and Hoshiden royal families might interfere in the match and attack. Like, you might see Takumi shoot the Fujinumi from a while away. Or Leo using some magic to attack the battlefield, or you know, all the members of the family could maybe you know have Elise and Sakura heal uh, people on the battlefield. That's what I think that stage should be, and I think it'll be really fun. And they should definitely add another fire on the stage. We have heaps of characters. Now it's time to add the stage. The third one is Octo Canyon, or the DJ Octavio site from Splatoon 2. Now, if you don't want spoilers for Splatoon 2's main story, then don't listen, but at the end of Splatoon 2, it's not like Splatoon 1 where you're at like this big fighting arena, you're, you're in like a more condensed arena in Splatoon 2 against DJ Octavio, and he, like, the battle is okay, but it's, um, like he throws bombs and stuff, and it's still fun, I enjoyed it, and when I was playing it, I'm like, well, considering how they're pushing, like, boss stages in in two smash brothers for wii u and 3ds i assume we're going to have another boss stage and if there's any stage i would like it to be this dj octavia fight from platoon 2 he can attack from the background using his like uh his bomb his bomb rush and stuff yeah so i think that'll be a fun stage or if 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 the stage isn't a thing then i definitely suspect that DJ Octavia will still be a boss, kind of like Rathalos or uh, Dracula, 
but you know, I don't know where they are from. Maybe in the new story. Check my video out on that if you want to hear more. It's a cheap plug. Okay. Uh, also, I think Splatoon deserves two stages because look at the F Zero series. That has heaps of stages. But F Zero is like the least relevant series possible right now in Smash Brothers. No offense, Captain Falcon. But yeah, so Splatoon deserves two stages, and I think there should be one representing a single player. Okay, next stage. This has been a stage I've wanted for so long. And I know we have a Wii Sports Resort stage called, you know, Woohoo Island. But I want a, just a regular Wii Sports stage, just called Wii Sports. And it would be a traveling stage around where you start off on a tennis, a floating tennis court, then you go to a baseball baseball field then you head to a bowling alley and then a golf course for presumably like just the golf green and then a boxing ring and they'll be so fun just going around they'll i love traveling stages i think they're a lot of fun um yeah it'll be heaps of fun going around all the the wii sports sports would really enjoy that um okay the next one is studiopolis from sonic mania it would be a breathtaking stage, and I would love to listen to Shudoopolis Act 1 song playing in the background. Oh my god, amazing. Like, Sonic, I, Sonic's a big enough franchise to deserve another character. See my, uh, my Eggman video for that. And I think it, a uh, cheap hug again. And I think it deserves a third stage as well. And Studiopolis would be amazing. Um, that or a stage from, or like, Chemical Plant Zone would be cool as well, but Studiopolis definitely is the one I would go for. Uh, the next stage that I would want is Noisy Notebook from Sniffer Clips. Now, we have Hannonbow from Electroplankton, which is just weird. So why can't we have Noisy Notebook from Sniffer Clips? See, the song on the website made me want this so much. It's a great song, it's super catchy. And now I just want this to be able to play on a Snipper Clip stage. It would be so fun. It would look beautiful. This one should be like competitively legal. I know I've put a lot of like boss and transforming stages here but and stage hazards. But this one here should definitely be an illegal stage. Just a fun cute stage that you should be able to play on. Finally, I think this has been a stage that has been requested quite a lot. But this is Tetris. Where it will be similar to Living Room, the Nintendo stage, where Tetris blocks fall from the sky and they like form the stage. Like, what? An, why isn't that a stage that's already been done? Like that should have happened ages ago. We have Tetris music in Smash Brothers. Give us a Tetris stage. So yeah, those are seven stages that I think should really be in Smash Brothers, and I'd love to see in Smash Brothers. I could probably come up with more. If you have a stage you would like to see, then please tell me about it in the comment below. I'd be super interested. Thank you for watching this video. Check my other videos if you want. And see you later.